This is Streamline News for Thursday, June 21st, 2012, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Three more swimmers were added to the British Olympic roster today at the Summer Nationals, which is serving as a second chance meet for those unable to secure Olympic spots at the March trials. Ewan Lloyd got some redemption today in the 200 free final, taking the one available Olympic roster spot in a time of 147.55, just under the FINA A standard, after missing out on the 400 free yesterday. David Carey, who won the 400 free yesterday and qualified for the Olympics, was second in the 200 with a 147.86, just a few hundred slower than the FINA A cut. Molly Renshaw just missed making the Olympic team in the 200 breast with her 227.72 today. The FINA A cut is 226.89. Anthony James also just fell short of qualifying in the 100 fly, missing the cut by just one tenth of a second with a 52.46. With both spots up for grabs in the men's 200 backstroke, the top two finishers needed to get under 158.48 to qualify for the Olympics. And Chris walker Hebern and Marco Loughran did just that. walker Hebern won with a 157.17, the ninth fastest time in the world. Loughran, who trains at the University of Florida, just made the cut with a 158.34. Swimming Australia announced today that Jarrett Port would be going to the Olympics in the 1500 freestyle despite not reaching the FINA A qualifying time in the event at the March Olympic Trials. Port, just 17 years old, won the mile in 15-13-38, about two seconds off the automatic standard, but FINA has been filling the Olympic quota of 700 athletes this week, and it appears Port's time was good enough to get him in the mile where he is ranked 28th in the world. Back here in the States, qualifying rounds of the USA Diving Olympic Trials continue with Christian Ibsen dominating the men's 3-meter prelims and semifinals. He's got almost 40 points on Troy Dumay, his synchro diving partner, going into Sunday's final. Chris Caldwell is right in the thick of it as well, just four points behind Dumay, who will be looking to make his fourth Olympic Games appearance in the event. Brittany Viola has a 30-point lead in the women's platform diving competition. Viola just missed making the Olympic team in 2004 and 2008. Diving finals start tomorrow with synchro events. Only one duo makes the Olympic team per event, while the top two in individual events will be going to London. That's going to do it for Streamline News. Thanks for watching.